everybody who's my television, your home action for your news. I didn't do a little intro, I should have done. On this edition of the news, we're going to talk about the Razor Crest. Yes, it's finally, finally in the US. Now, the first person to uh, share it with me was this guy, and I put it up on my stories on Instagram. Congratulations. And also, my buddy Mario sent me a little video. I can't play the audio, it'll get me copyright strike, but it is the lovely tune from the Book of Boba Fett that he put with it. <laughs> thought it sounded pretty cool. A uh, few of you already have received your notices that is shipping later on, so awesome stuff. No one from Canada has reached out and said they have a notification yet, so hold on. Uh, Australians, uh, some of you who have bought them through EB Games, I believe they have been told the 14th of February. Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> But today's video, at the end of it, we're going to open up this package from Bulletproof Villain over in South Australia. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate you. Great store they have over there. Check them out if you're local. And we also want to talk about Fan First Friday. Now, while you're watching this video, don't worry, I can't spoil Boba Fett because I'm actually filming this one hour before the episode goes to air, so I can't give you any spoilers. Fan First Friday, it will be broadcast to you via Hasbro Pulse on their channel. At, it will be at 11 a.m. for you guys in the US on the East Coast. It will be 4 p.m. GMT for you guys in the UK. And for us down here in Australia, it will be the next day, 3 a.m. Now, I've been asked, am I gonna watch it? I'd love to watch it, but yeah, it's very hard to do at that time of day. Family men and all, you know. My predictions, my predictions. I believe, this is what I'm hoping for, we will actually see figures. I'll start with TVC, by the way. TVC, TVC, there it is. Um, Fire First Clone Trooper. We need to see that one and its card back. I'd love to see what they do with that. Uh, the th 332nd Clone Trooper. There's another one for you. Arc Trooper Jesse. I want to see what he looks like in TVC. Mandalorian Loyalist. We've had him in um, Black Series. Hope to see it in TVC as well. Figure and Dan. Figure and Dan. This, this will be an interesting one if they show us this. What's the card back going to be? Is it going to be old Star Wars card back or is it going to be Book of Boba Fett? We'll wait and see. Hopefully they do show us a card back. Mandalorian Super Commando. That'll be an interesting one. The one with the horns. I don't remember we got that in the Clone Wars line. In the Black Series. Awesome. And a couple of those code names that have been driving me nuts for ages. Uh, these are probably going to be exclusive, so they might not even be mentioned. But anyway, uh, Periwinkle, Violet, and Marv, Maeve, however you want to say it. <laughs> I'm keen to see what they are, if they're going to show us at this thing. Moving over to Black Series, let's have a look. Hope to see Arc Trooper Jesse in the Black Series. Yes, he's got one in each, and so is Figure and Dan as well. He's got a Black Series figure coming, so awesome. Princess Leia Ewok Village. That should be a special figure. I think they've gone and done that because they've done all the other layers, and they won't do Slave Leia, so they'll do this one instead. <laughs> Kidamundi! He has an interesting face, so him in action figure form, Black Series, that will be awesome. Uh, other Sakura, I hope they make her look as beautiful as you can. Other ones further down the, the line, hopefully we see Axe Woes because he can go with Koska and Bo. And interesting, I want to see some kind of information about Luke and Leia Jedi training that were rumoured. The Rise of Skywalker figures haven't heard much since that rumour came out. Wonder what's happening there. Awesome, I'll give you a full recap of all the Fan First Wednesday on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll talk about what's good, bad, and ugly, and difficult to find. Now, Bulletproof Villain. They've kindly gifted me this, and on there, I'll cover up the anything interesting on here. My address, if you want to send something, is P.O. Box 957 Lisbon, New South Wales 2480. And look, keep up the good work, Bulletproof Villain, B.P.V. Thank you very much. Um, as you know, Mail from the US to Australia has been terrible, absolutely. They uh, stopped that you can still send stuff, or even though I can send stuff to the US, a box like this would cost me around about $20. From the US to me, it's about $15, depending on a little bit heavy, could up, get up to $20 US. However, that standard size postage, they scrapped it. You can't send nothing to Australia. And what they have is that priority mail, which costs an absolute fortune. Aussies are kind of holding off buying anything from the US of late. You know, the entertainment at Big Bad Toy, so you may still want to go and get it that way, but yeah, it's been quite difficult. As I didn't have my knife, I had my trusty tiny little screwdriver. I can't even remember why I had that. And I've opened the bottom of the box, and look at this! Brilliant packing. Well done, guys, at Bulletproof Villain. 
And I see a Black Series figure in there. Ooh, it's still a mystery. <laughs> Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I had to take some more tape off. Here we go. Officially. Back to front. Go this way. Yay! Hey, it's Chirrut Way number four in the Star Wars Rogue One lineup. Fantastic. Look at him go. I'm one with the Force and the Force is with me. I believe that's his line. That is absolutely awesome. If you want to get yourself here in Australia, the Rogue One lineup, I believe they have a few of them on the website. Check out Bulletproof Villain. Links down below. That is fantastic. Thank you. Trude Inway is now part of the collection. Brilliant. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. I'm going to go sleeve it up in one of these undercover protectors to look after it forever. Fantastic. 11 minutes later. And done. There he is. Wrapped in plastic. Protected forever. There we go. Thank you very much everybody for watching. My name is Usual Mike. You can help support the channel by clicking the join button down below and becoming a member of the channel. Or you might like to pick something up from the Amazon affiliate store. Down in the description, click the link, buy yourself something nice, help that channel. Or go over to the Redbubble store and buy yourself some merchandise that says Usual Mike Television. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at usualmike30 or on Instagram at usualmiketv. And if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe, tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.